Alrighty, okay, so T-shot on two, um, definitely aiming a lot straighter. Okay, uh, face and shoulders matching nicely. So I feel like you're standing a little taller and stronger as well. So that's really good. Uh, let's have a look. Obviously we're looking at that transition and that width of the downswing. Takeaway is good, a little neater, not so much outside, which is also good because we don't have to drop it much, do we? Okay, leg work good. Maybe the right hip sliding a little bit underneath. So probably want to maintain that knee flex a little bit better, but really not bad. Here under the plane, yeah, but you did keep your width and then get it back. Okay, so the width and then the softness of the release is what's key there, isn't it? Okay, so just a little bit of posture work in the transition. Okay, this setup lovely right on top of the golf ball. Okay, that chest is really, really good. So this is what I was saying to you with your three iron. I think sometimes your three iron lie angle sits a little bit like that. So that's why it wants to draw and it's maybe sometimes difficult to hit it off tight lies. So we must just check that lie angle of that three iron. Okay, otherwise, posture, plane and face. Let's have a look. Oh, take away, just beautiful. Sits a little bit better. Not quite as much knee drop. Stays on line. Oopsie. Maybe release the hair later. Maybe that's why I just drew a little bit. Could have just released that one a little bit earlier, but otherwise very, very nice. Okay, so all looking at this, I want to see the width um, and then the body angles and release points from here. So that's what I was trying to check from here. So it all looks very good. Maintaining your angles beautifully. Still on top of your legs, very nice. Possibly be a touch, could possibly be a touch softer and wider, eh? but it's not bad. I just feel like you're working a little bit hard to release it there. But you did release it. And then hold the face nicely. Well done. Very good. Hey, Maddie. Okay, thanks. Um, thanks for the, the round or whatever and the feedback and uh, oh, all your hard work. There's so much, so much good stuff happening there. Now, your your attitude, your understanding and knowledge of the game, all that type of stuff is making a lot of the difference as well. Okay, and then obviously the idea of not flicking and being much wider, okay, also making a difference and then Keeping that club in square, the short clubs also making a difference. Okay, it's all really, really good stuff. So, um, obviously, transition is better in terms of width and not, not yanking on the club and, and, and getting narrow and pulley. Okay, but we can see there that the legs are still a little bit of a problem. Okay, so it's still adding too much knee flex. Okay, and changing our balance points and our amount of forward bend or our posture during that transition. So, we've got to keep working on that. Okay, so we still got to be stronger here. Alright, so we're going to have to do some of that straight leg draw and some of that kickback. Some of that kickback draw. Okay, remember when you do kickback draw nice and slowly so you don't hurt yourself. Okay, but do some straight legged ones. Not too close to the ball and then do some kickbacks where you kick your legs back out. Okay, and then hit it from there. Slightly better rhythm, but you can start there. Okay, and then wedges. Wedges, wedges, wedges. Okay, I'm going to disappoint you probably. Look, I mean, obviously we're happy, but easy, easily could have shot around, maybe even snuck in under par. Um, okay, so I just want you to do some tile drawing with wedges, and let's go narrow, quite a narrow stance as well. Let's do one club head width for now. Okay, I disagree with you. I don't think it's physical. I don't think it's lazy. Okay, you, you're in the eighth hole of a Sunday morning. It's not like in the 31st hole Sunday afternoon. Okay, it's just not good enough. Look, it's not something we practiced. All right. Now, also remember when you were getting pulley and narrow with the wedges, it's easy to get the hammer in front and probably a bit squeezy and inconsistent, but you wouldn't have been fat. Now that you're a little sort of wider and softer, if the body doesn't work too well or the right side collapses a little bit, then you're working fat. Okay. Um, I feel like it was more of a deceleration thing, but again, if you're getting pulley here, you have to stop the body to give yourself time to flick the face over. Okay, so I think it's more technical and lack of practice rather than physical. All right, so towel drill. Okay, towel under the arms. Really what you're trying to do is really build the wedge game around this pivot. So everything is about 
everything is about pivoting, rotating through the golf ball, everything needs some control. Okay, I'll do lots and lots and lots of these this week. Okay, obviously posture, if that gives out with tower draw, you're gonna you're gonna struggle, so it's good for that as well. Okay, but basically just tie your arms and really focus on pivoting and getting your chest and your core through to the target with all your wet shots from 40 meters to 120 meters. Okay, so tower draw. Yeah, all the way through every single time. Okay, learn the balance and the strike and the feel of that. Okay, as many as many as you can. Right, and then last little thing. Okay, the putting. Okay, the bad part I did mention still. The bad one where you release it a little bit, uh, sort of open. Okay, I'm just going to check whether that's a, you're not trusting your line thing. Okay, or you're just having a little peak. Okay, just a peak and leaning back and then releasing it open. Okay, just go check that. But you keep working on that release, okay, and that solid club face a little bit lower, a little bit more in line. Okay, and that uh, putting is looking a hell of a lot better. I do appreciate that you're reading and your touch are improving as you go, so that does help. Okay, but just keep an eye on that one. Okay, otherwise, very happy, mate. Obviously, continue with the driver work, uh, but just add in that what we're talking about today. All right, you can tell now that draw I gave you to tee it up low and swing left or start the ball left. Not any helps, but again, it's a lot to do with this move, isn't it? I want you doing more of that move and less of that move. All right, great stuff, mate. I'm very, very happy. Keep pushing. Um, and I'll talk to you soon.